Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the glimpse function in the deep layer package. This is a very useful function and we should actually use this to evaluate the structure of our data frame that we have just uploaded. And this also gives us, you know, the list of variables that are present in our data frame that we can play with or we can use in our analysis or in our exploration moving ahead. The reason to keeping uh, this function uh, very late in the series is because I wanted you to get the basics right first. And this will actually help you to you know understand the data frame when you upload it and then you can deploy all of the basics that you've learned to in the videos prior to this video See, we also have a base R function called structure str which I'll also discuss in this video and tell you like what's the difference between the str function and the glimpse function whereas we bo use both those functions in the same manner to explore the data frame that we just uploaded right with that let's just get to it so as usual I'll clear the environment with rm list is equal to ls and control plus l and i'll import the data set this is the same data set that we have been using in the prior videos sales order and you can see sales order data set has been added to the environment now i'll load the deep layer package then i'll finally come to running the glimpse command over the sales order data set right so i'll just run the glimpse command and you can see that we have seven columns 43 rows order date column region rep item units unit dot cost total and the data type in that column like order date is a character it's not a date units is an integer item is a character rep is a character unit cost is a dbl dbl is for double class which means a double precision floating point number you can just consider it as a float so like integer or integers floats are decimal numbers you can just consider this as a decimal number right and you get to know okay the data set i just uploaded has 43 rows seven columns these column names these column types and it also gives you a brief look into how um, and what the data is captured in these columns now just an extra tip since we also know the chaining operator from the introduction video of deep layer package uh, you can check out the video uh, the link is on the top right if you want to we can also just type the name of the data set and then use the chaining operator and run the glimpse function over it just will just give you the very same output uh, but yeah these are two different ways to run these functions you can choose uh, whatever you know fits you best so you can just see what kind of info information you got when you run glimpse we can also use str to evaluate the data frame as well but the people who are very familiar with deep layer who use deep layer a lot in exploration of data set they try to use glimpse and they actually prefer using glimpse uh, because it's very clean you get to know whatever's coming uh, in the data set and the uh, glimpse command adjusts to the size of your console if you see everything is aligned in, in a justified manner and you can read everything in left to right without actually focusing much on the formatting of the output now if i run structure on the other hand you'll see the difference right if i run structure you can see that formatting is not there the uh, input names are not you know very well well formatted it's not very pleasing to the eye right that's what my point to the structure command is but if you are not that kind of a person who likes things in a very formatted manner and you just want to know the evaluation of the data set you just want to you know know how many rows are there how many columns are there you don't need to load deep layer package at all and you can run with the str function in base r itself right and again you can still use a chaining operator just like you used for glimpse output will be exactly the same so you don't have to worry about whether you have to use a chaining operator or you have to use a function as it is that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers